Yeah, I I got a good I got a good heat race in, which was good. Um, got a good gate pick, just didn't get a good start. I think I was I was outside of the top ten, and uh, it was dicey those first few laps, like it always is back there mid pack. Just had to to make some stuff happen, and lucky for me the track was tough tonight, so a lot of mistakes were going down, and I was just having to capitalize on a lot of that stuff and make stuff happen. I was having to charge through and. I, I was reeling in Martina and those guys at the end, but I just need a better start, man. No excuses. It's part of the race. So I just got to uh, go work on that this week, do some testing, and uh, come back next weekend and try to battle for that win. No doubt. I, the plywood was sketchy. I actually hit it a, a couple times. But also lucky for me, my Dunlop tires hook up great. They hooked up too good for me on the start. I almost looped out. That's why I got a bad start. So... It's all good. At the end of the day, still in the box, still getting good points, and uh, still got that momentum going forward for myself. So I uh, just keep pushing and grinding, and hopefully here pretty soon, a couple weeks, get up there in the points. I think it was good prep for Daytona. It was, uh, it was tough. It was ruddy. It was soft, technical, which Daytona is a beast. It's always known for that. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. I, I welcome that stuff. I love it when it's rough and a little bit sketchy. Um, I got some uh, some revenge on Daytona coming, I think. I, uh, a couple years back, last time I raced there, I ended up like stuck in a mud hole and got 18th. So I got to do better there and uh, prove that I'm not just talking and I actually do like the place. So should be good. I'm looking forward to it.